This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Starbound Mod Spotlight. Today, we're taking a look at Enhanced Rails. Now, just in case you can't uh, tell by the name and what's going on right now, Enhanced Rails is all about improving Starbound's kind of crappy rail system that doesn't do a whole lot and is kind of useless. I'd rather have elevators. But with this mod, rails become epic. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff, like make a roller coaster that eventually lands and explodes. Uh, there's a ton of stuff, so let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need to do is make the vanilla rail crafting table. The one that comes with it, you don't need no special crafting table or anything like that. Where you find all the other rail stuff is where you find the rail stuff for this mod, which is really neat in my opinion, because most other ones add a crafting table, you have to hunt down someplace. But anyway, it adds two different uh, new rails. You have the cosmetic rail and you have the slick rail, just different looks. They're nothing, nothing special, just, you know, look different and fancy. Then you have a couple different platforms to choose from as well. You have the adjustable platform, which allows you to adjust the speed. You have the flame platform, which shoots flames out from underneath of it and attacks stuff. You have the guard platform, which shoots bullets at stuff. You have the hydroponic platform, which you see right over here watering my crops. You have the railgun platform and the rocket platform, which both just shoot their guard, guard turrets, basically. Then you have Rail Booster, which actually picks up speed and kicks you faster, and the Rail Brake, and the Powered Rail Bumper. And plus some other odds and ends, but let's let's get to look at some of this stuff. So we have, I have set up here the hydroponic platform, and you can see that it just goes back and forth and continuously waters my crops. If I add a couple of little chunks of dirt here at the end, it should reach them and hit them with the hoe. You'll be able to see it in action. There you go. And you can see that it just dropped water on and watered that. So you can set this up over your garden. You can have a multi-tier garden. It can go however you want it to go. And this thing will go along and water all of your crops for you. That right there is worth a download in my opinion. Like if you don't find that worth a download, then, then I don't know what to tell you. But that is amazing. Then we have a couple of different platforms to take a look at that you can actually ride on. There is this hanging one here that you saw me on in the beginning, hanging roller coaster style. So you can make all kinds of crazy roller coasters as you can see here. I've made one that actually like throws you around in a loop. So you can do some really neat stuff with these. And if we pop out of that, this rail is also powered. I have the rail boosters here, here, and here. And they actually have to be wired up so you can turn those on and off. They do take power. So you see if I take this, hit the switch, the cart now slows down. If I hit the switch again, it should speed back up once it hits those. Yep, there, it just caught that one and sped up a little bit. And it's gonna come to a stop. And then we have the speed one. I'm actually gonna turn this off and show so I can show you the adjustable speed one. So if we drop that on there and then hop up on top of it here, when you're standing on it, if you highlight over it and you hit the E button, normally you would pick it up. But in this case, you actually increase the speed. You can see that it has a little meter there that's showing up and it increases with speed every time you highlight over it and hit E. Then we have the sphere, which actually protects you from stuff and you get a healing buff when you're inside of it. If I can get inside of it, come on, get inside of it. There we go. So you can see here, I got the regen buff and it's going really, really slow, but that's fine because if you click the fire buttons, you can actually speed it up and slow it down at your own leisure. So if you don't like how fast it's going, you can actually speed it up and slow it down by right clicking and left clicking with your mouse. Really, really neat stuff. All right, so let's head on over here where I have a, another track set up and I wanna show you we have the three car rail train. It also comes in a five car version and it operates just like an old school roller coaster. If I drop this on the track and get in it, wait for a second, you can see that it kicks off. You don't see all three cars right now, but trust me, they are there. Um, I got kind of a crazy track set up here, 
But uh, yeah, so you can make like a actual legit roller coaster. You can either use the hanging ones uh, like you like I just showed you, or you can use this multi cart, make like an old school. Uh, old-fashioned roller coaster and this also gives me a good chance to show off the bumper this is one of the powered bumpers and you see that the cart's coming back and forth and hitting that and turning around right now but if I flip this switch you can see that the center of it goes black and if we wait patiently the cart will fall off there you go and it falls off and you just pick it back up so that's the power bumper and that is combined with more of the rail boosters. I have them all along the track there and I actually have some set up with the rail sensors so you can use them with that as well or you can just have them all powered to a switch. But some of those were too far for me to actually have a switch. They were too far from the switch. And if we pop on down here, I have each of the guard platforms set up. I have the rocket one here, the railgun one here, the vanilla basic one, just plain old, just shoot stuff like normal gun one here. I don't know what you want to call it. It's nothing special. The nothing special guard turret and uh, the flame platform right here. And you can actually, you can't ride any of these other ones, but you can ride on the flame platform. So that's the main difference between the flame one and the other ones here. So let me uh, spawn a mob and you can watch these guys attack. You can see that they, they make pretty short work of it. These guys have really high hit points, but they do decent damage. And uh, let me spawn this one and come over here and you should see the flame platform start to hit it with jets of flame. So that's each of the guard, pla the guard platforms. These are really great for guarding your base. I really like this rocket one. It does like crazy damage. Look at all those rockets it shoots. It's freaking awesome. It actually damages tiles too. You can see the tiles here are lighting up blue. That's because they're actually taking some tile damage. Really fancy stuff. All right, last but not least, there is some different uh, rail hooks. I wanna show you the vanilla one first. If we come down here and we activate the power boosters and we jump on here, you can see that the vanilla one is in fact affected by the power boosters, which is really handy. And then we have the maglev hook, which doesn't need anything to make it go along. You can see that I can go straight up and then of course it goes straight down. But if I jump and I connect, it pulls itself straight up, which is really handy. It, however, is not affected by the boosters. You can see we go right across the boosters and it just doesn't care. And then we have the accelerator hook, which is very similar to the maglev. It will actually pull you along and it gains speed the longer it goes, supposedly. I really made a track long enough to tell uh, but it, well, I guess there it did definitely gain some speed. It's kind of hard to see, but I, I imagine if you were to put it on like a really long track, you would definitely tell that it was uh, gaining speed as it's going along. So that's about it for this mod spotlight. It doesn't add a ton of stuff, but what it does add is absolutely amazing for the rail system. It really makes the rail system worth using. So for example, there's the five car train track or, or train linked train car. I'll get it out eventually. I was telling you about and all the different stuff. Uh, there's these rail bridges and I'm sure some people are gonna ask what they do. I can't really figure them out. They don't really make sense to me. I don't know if I'm just special or what, but basically it acts as a bridge. So if I build a pillar of dirt, let me turn the block protection off and I will show you. You see how it fits in there like that? That's the only place I can place it, but I don't understand what the purpose of that is. So I don't know if there's a different way to use it and I'm not using it right and can't figure it out or what, but I don't really get those. Uh, then there is also the doors. I didn't illustrate those because I mean they're doors. There's the rail gate and then there's the rail hatch. So you can actually use those to uh, pass through them and they'll open up as you're passing through them and then shut behind you, which is really cool. I guess they just shut over top of the uh, different rail, t rail types. 
really, really, really amazing mod. So like I said, if you don't download the mod for this, then I don't know what to tell you because this right here in the uh, guard turrets or guard platforms, I want to call them turrets because they basically are. The guard platforms really had me sold on this thing. Amazing mod. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel by becoming a Patreon, that link for that is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.